Cheryl, you have got uh, a range of interests here. Can you tell me more about your interest in blockchain and how did that and how did you combine the two in real estate? Uh, well, first I should say I spend like my entire life telling people to niche down and yet I'm all over, the, I do a lot. So it's kind of like this oxymoron, but um, well, before real estate, I did computers. So I've always been driven to the tech industry, keeping up on what's current that way in marketing. Um, and I don't know, I, I can't say like one p specific thing that like drew me to blockchain. I was enamored by what the future of real estate is going to be relation in relation to crypto. So I started getting into virtual land, the idea of it, and we've, we're talking about investors in real estate today, but like, what does that look like 30 years from now in crypto? And so I got into virtual land. So that's like my specialty that I focus on continuing to learn and share regarding that. And um, I, you know, obviously I want to be taken seriously. So I said, well, okay, I need to get educated. I'm not just going to go watch YouTube videos and then pr pr do those myself. So I took the beginning blockchain class just to get the basic knowledge of what is blockchain. And then after that, I signed up for a blockchain consultant class to really figure out how to implement that into businesses as just more knowledge. And Proppy, of course, I mean, in all honesty, there's still a sense of people thinking that you don't really know what you're doing and how to do that in real estate. Like, I think, just real quick, like last year, I think I told a seller something about I'm gonna buy the virtual land above your home. And I think that's the last time I ever said that. Because <laughs> they're like, what? Because, air rights? Is that yeah, air rights? <laughs> because they're like, I think they're like, so you're not in real estate anymore? And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop that. 